showcase of a Dell Precision T1650. So at the front, you do have some form of uh, intake perforation, but very restricted. Two five and a quarter inch base. One of it is populated by this DVD rewritable drive. Power button, as well as the Precision logo. Two USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, mic and audio jack, a Dell logo. This is where the Windows 7 and Intel Xeon sticker inside is. There is a mechanism for installation of the 5 quarter inch base. And there is uh, like a, there is the frame support, a three and a half inch like multi-card reader bay, but there is no slot for it in the front, so this will remain unpopulated. Two three and a half inch hard drive bays, again with like the toolless caddies, but our speaker over there, if not mistaken. Then we've got a micro ATX motherboard with the heatsink fan. This is a rear case fan. This is the power supply. It is a 275 watt unit. And we've got a PCIe X16 expansion bay times two, one PCIe X1 slot as well as one regular PCI slot. The PCIe X16 slot at the top is populated by a Quadro 600 graphics card. This uses a standard 4-pin CPU connector as well as a standard 24-pin uh, motherboard connector. And got a front header down there. Secondary front uh, header, sorry, power button connector is up there. SATA for a second, for two optical drives as well as two hard drives pre-wired already but you need to supply your own extra SATA cables. Installation of the expansion cards is also toolless, so that's good. And the case is actually also toolless. The door has a latch, which I won't showcase. At the top, there's this kind of uh, dimple in the metal, so you can like put stuff there. On this side, there's absolutely nothing noteworthy to talk about. I can flip this to the back. Oh, before that, chassis intrusion switch. At the back, standard ATX power supply with um, self-test mode. You can press this to see if the power supply works. And rear I.O. dual PS2, gigabit Ethernet, two USB 2, dual display port, VGA. But the dual display port VGA won't work because the Xeon processor in this particular system does not have integrated graphics. But if you have a i5 or i7 config, you may be able to use the dual display port and VGA output. Um, audio jack, serial, and two USB 3 and two USB 2 down here. And this Quadro 600 has a DVI-I, so I've converted to VGA and a display port here. So that's a quick showcase of this uh, Dell Precision T1650.